today Keystone opens the Bergman chairlift, which accesses over 500 new acres of new skiable terrain here at Keystone. I'm super excited. I've rode this bull in this area a ton, but I've always had to walk there. So now we get to actually ride a chairlift. But of course, in typical John the Buckhouse fashion, we want to be the first to get on the new chairlift. So we are at a secret location and we are going to skin to as close as we can get to the chairlift to hopefully be the first people to get on the lift that are like not the Bergman family. So should be sick. We got a skin ahead of us, three miles. Here we go, we're on our way to the new lift. Look at them snow cats. Oh, we brought a crew today too. We got, we got people. Those are the lifties that did the work. You're a lifty one, right? I was a ticket scanner. Oh. Totally different. Yeah, you don't go to like back chair lifts and stuff because you only stand at the front ones and scan. On the note of scanning tickets though, there is a chance we're taking a risk that we walk all the way here. We get to the lift and they tell us you can't go up because your pass wasn't scanned. Now everyone here does have an epic pass. Like we're totally legit to go up the lift. But that would stink because once again, we're bypassing a chairlift and a run in order to be the first to get to the chairlift. So hopefully this uh, all works out. It'll work, full, full confidence. Full confidence. These are the risks you take. Because if we aren't allowed to go up, that means we're not going to be first. We'll probably be like last. <laughs> All right, we have made it to the base area of the cliff. We've got to walk up this way. Now, before I just did this, I did talk with Ski Patrol and asked them if I could, and they said they were fine with it, as long as I didn't go up any runs. If I just got to the base area, they're like, yeah, yeah, we're, we're cool with that. Hopefully they're cool with this. Ta-da! Good morning. Three miles, mate. You know, sometimes, sometimes I wonder why I stopped working for you. And then I do this. Dude, your face. <laughs> it all makes sense now. <laughs> now, we gotta claim our spot for first chair on this lift. And then we gotta turn these skis into a snowboard. That's no a early so. so now we gotta make sure we don't get cold. I mean, as you can tell by Nate's face, this helmet, like, it's chilly, it's like under 10 degrees. Kind of worked up a little bit of a sweat, so I'm gonna try and uh, stay warm and we just wait. All that sweat smell like that. All right, so we just talked to Ski Patrol. They were totally cool with us walking up the road and being here, so that's exciting for the fact that we're not getting kicked off the mountain. They did tell us that some people skinned up the front side. They're up there waiting and they want to like rush down here real quick. So hopefully this lift starts spinning and we can get up while they're coming down because a, a skier can easily pass us. If, you know, we still got to strap in and stuff. I will snowboard my fastest to get to the chairlift to be the first chair on the new Bergman lift, but who knows? Now we're just trying not to be cool. Thank you. Um, You'd have to push it. off. Yeah, but have you ever gotten strapped to a skier? What's up? What's your name? Matthias. Matthias. Yeah. Nathan. Nathan, do you guys go up the do you guys skin up the front side? Oh yeah. nice. I thought about that too. Yeah. Made it? Made it, Kenny. But it's a six chair, I didn't know that. Yes, yeah, yeah. Plenty, it's a six plenty chair. of space. Yeah, there. absolutely. Oh, dude, this is awesome. I haven't snowboarded that fast. Jonathan? 
Buckhouse. First chair got something special. It's back at the uh, guest services. We'll pick it up later and show you guys. So stick to the end of the video. Tons of people are showing up. Let's go. Bergman Express fans. Yeah, we had no idea how busy it was gonna be. It's pretty busy out here. I like the uh, the outfit. <laughs> he's the br he's the bra tree. <laughs> So right now the Bergman family has shown up. A guy named Bergman, who the bowl is named after, is the guy that started Keystone, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Co-founder, yeah. Co-founder of Keystone. Sadly, he just passed away before the chair lift opened up, but they're gonna let their family go first. So technically we're not the first chair today to go up, but we're the first public chair. That counts, you know, we can't control these things, but we can control the things that we did control. You know, we got a pin and they didn't. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Thank you all so much for coming out this morning to help us christen the Bergman Express. We're extremely excited to open up this train. I love it when a plan comes together. Like, guys, we killed it. Ah. Sports! Everybody wanted to know what I would do if I did win. I guess we'll Ooh. never know. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, they're making sure we're awake. Oh, good morning. Everyone's gonna be like, you should have had the bar down. The bar is part of your uniform. You see, guys? Now, this is nice. Let's go left. Let's go. No groomed runs. That's the one I like to hear. Oh, it's pretty bare in here. Here we go. Fresh turns. A little bit of grass. in the fluff. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, I wasn't ready for that. I escalated quickly. I just got wrecked. Oh, watch out for that cat track. It has never been there before. We're almost to the bottom of the lift. Whoa, person down. Look at how many people are here now. Definitely worth showing up early and getting first chair. Woo! Whoa! How are you doing? Dude, that was sick. I got wrecked on that cat track. Yeah. Oh, it was amazing. Yeah, that's awesome, bro. Hopefully there's still powder by the time everyone else gets up there. We gotta get on another chairlift. Tell you what, guys, I'm not going to uh, die on that cat track this time. That was, that hurt so bad. All right, before we drop this next pal line, I do want to mention you want to support the Dream Snag and Evolution sticker. Like Michael did, he's got the mountain one absolutely looking insane on the helmet. Snagging the stickers allows me to do this for a living, allows me to come out super early and get first chair for you guys and share these experiences for everyone that couldn't make it. So please consider snagging merch, supporting Dream. We do have ski versions of all of our merch as well. It also comes with guaranteed compliments. So enough talking, let's find some pal. It looked like by these trees, there was still some. And then you gotta get close to the trees. Yeah, here we go. Angle pal. So on first chair, I couldn't see it because it was so dark, but this quickly drops off. So I was heel sliding and I just whoop, to the bottom. 
That absolutely sucked. But you can see the difference on how much more is tracked out, but we still got some good pow. If you want to learn how to navigate a ski resort, find powder even on days where it's going to be pretty hard to find powder, but also do a powder cat experience where you're guaranteed to get powder for the most part. Come to my snowboard camp. It's an all-inclusive adult camp. Three days of absolute shredding, a private powder cat, two days at Crested Butte, all the foods included, the housing, all of it. You literally just get your camp spot. Fly into Denver, we're gonna run a shuttle. It's gonna be insane. If you wanna learn more about my camps, you should come. Adult camp for big mountain riding, navigating resorts, finding pal. Link in the description. You're not gonna wanna miss that experience. All right, we got one more in us. Singles will probably be faster because of six sticker. Yo, six sticker. What's up? What's your name? Hey, Kevin. Kevin, nice to meet you. you. All right, guys, before we do this last drop, let's talk about my thoughts on the chair. It's pretty rad. Once again, you used to only be able to get here if you hiked up or you paid to ride this snowcat. So for a lot of people to be able to get in here and ride a bowl, specifically Bergman bowl, which is kind of more of a blue, super mellow bowl. So like for people to learn how to ride bowl and riding, this is a really good area as well as Ericsson bowl, super easy access to that. So overall, pretty rad that this is a thing. I can't believe it's a six chair also so get a lot of people up really fast and it's gonna be fun I'm, I'm really excited for this it also makes for dropping into independence bowl makes the day trip of that half cuts it in half which is super rad i did ask a supervisor how much the lift cost and she wasn't budging she didn't want to tell me exactly how much it cost i'm assuming it's within the realm of 12 million to 20 million dollars the whole project from redoing the dirt and to building the lifts and pretty crazy how you guys doing Guys, thanks for doing this experience with me as well. Oh, my split board thing came out. Yeah, we could keep doing laughs and keep getting pow. Cause we know how to find pal. But I told the wife we'd keep it a short day. But we do gotta get to the bottom, get our backpack, and then get our prize for being first chair. I'm super excited to see what that is. I hope you guys are too. So let's go quickly do that. <laughs> Goodbye Bergman Express. So stoked to have been the first person. <laughs> it's so fun. That's a sick sticker you got on your helmet. Thanks for, doing, dude, thanks for snagging a sticker. Dude. Oh, I love seeing you guys wrapping the stickers. Thank you, Kenny. You'll never believe what we got on the lift. We got the scissors. Let's go. Get Woo. the power down. He's in uniform. How's it feel to be holding the scissors? Uh, it's an honor. <laughs> That's so rad. So we just ran into trailer Tom, the master of first chairs. I actually didn't know about first chairs or got them until I met this guy. And he's created a whole world around first chairs, AKA his movie, Pin Pin 20, Battle for First Chair, Opening Day Dreams, and then a new book that's coming out. So Tom, tell us about this book. So it's gonna be a science fiction action adventure snowboarding book. Imagine snowboarding on other planets, big snowboard battles that take place on the hill. The book is called Snowboarding's Last Stand, A Samurai and the Slingly. I'll have all that information in the description. You can pre-order it. Just stay tuned. Tons of updates on when it's going to come out. Launch party is January 18th. It's going to be at the CO Bar. We'll come by. We'll do some book signings. Big launch party. It's going to be a good time. Good time. All right. We'll see you guys there. Let's go get our goodie bag. Or whatever the prize is for being first chair. A little nervous to leave the split board. I'm going to put it where it's a lot harder to see. Very expensive snowboard. We're gonna go get our opening day prize. All right, we gotta go to guest service. Hi, we got first chair on the Bergman. Nice to see y'all's passes. Awesome, thank you. Got a winning duffel bag, let's go. Kenny opened his and there's Oakley's in there. I got Oakley's in mine too, but I don't, I don't need goggles. Oh, they're prisms. Once again, Kuno Optics is my goggle sponsor and you should buy my goggles. You can use code Buckhouse to save some money. But if you want to win these goggles, drop a comment. Best comment wins the goggles. That's all I'm going to say. All right, guys, as we walk to the car with our victory bag, snowboards in hand, I can't express the feeling that I, I personally get when you plan a mission. I scouted the parking spots. Like we planned the route. I've been wanting to do this since the beginning of the year. Last year, I was like, no matter what, 
what? We're getting first chair at Bergman. Didn't know if they're actually going to let us up the lift because we didn't get ticket, our ticket scan. All type of stuff like that. There's just no guarantee that was going to happen. But then when you do get first chair, you do get a swag bag. All this stuff comes together. It's so rad. And uh, I love sharing it with you guys. So once again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Enter the giveaway by dropping a comment, guys. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow in another video. Because it's daily on this channel. We do stuff like this. Daily. daily.